Hey everybody, it's China Unicorn. So it is Valentine's Day. I could give zero shits about Valentine's Day to be honest, but I do have a date on February 14th. I even said it to the guy like that. I was like, you know, I understand it's Valentine's Day, but like I really don't want the flowers or anything. Like it's, we, I've known you like a week, like it's fine. Um, so I'm actually just going on a date tonight and like it just happens to be on February 14th. Um, so anyways, it's with uh, Mr. A, the guy that I have introduced you to in my last few vlogs. So far so good, things are going well, things are going at a more gradual pace for me than they are for him, but uh, sometimes that's how it goes. And so even though I like him and I'm attracted to him, there's something in me that is keeping me at a certain pace that makes me feel comfortable. And so I think I'm still gonna take it slow and like, Maybe we'll get a little further tonight than we did the last few times, but like I'm telling you, there's something in me that is shy about his his dick, and I just I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to to go there with some guy that I'm considering as a potential boyfriend. So, um, yeah, like I just I'm taking it at my own pace. But you wouldn't you wouldn't think a swinger would be like slow to warm up, but you know every, every people swingers are just people, and there's so many different types of people that make up swingers. So. Anyways, we're going to a restaurant tonight. We uh, It's one of my favorite restaurants. It's the barbecue place. It's a Japanese barbecue or Korean barbecue where you uh, cook the food at your table. So hopefully I'll get a gentleman and he'll cook me some meat and uh, I'll have some delicious meat. And then uh, we'll come home. And uh, I don't know if he's coming back to my place or not yet. Um, because I'm really not down for sex yet, I'm not sure I want to like invite the idea of it if it's, like, if, it's, uh, if it's not there. So we'll see what happens. But like, we'll get there. We'll get there. I did see his dick pic. He showed me last time. It was a nice dick. So uh, there's no concerns there. It's really just the inner shy girl in me that just 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 can't do it yet. Like just doesn't want to do that yet. Just like wants to like you know the guy held my hand. Okay, like this is the, the first guy that has held my hand in so long. And at first when he grabbed it and like, I was like, oh, did he make a mistake? Is he gonna pull back? Nope, he just like got more intertwined. I was like, oh, this guy's holding my hand, wow. Um, I don't I don't have a lot of men in my life that hold my hand. And like, it's just, you know, friendships, casual things are just not like that. But um, it was just, it was a bit surprising when a man was just so interested in like holding my hand. I don't know, it was something, it was interesting. Well, I'll take an analogy to uh... Mr. A, hello, welcome back. You're going to be having some Korean barbecue or Japanese barbecue? All right, we'll check in. So I even got a nice little rose, and now we're going to cook some juicy meat. I'm usually going to add my own. Hey everybody, it is Tiny Unicorn. I actually changed because I thought the top I was wearing was too revealing. And so then I wore this top and had the cleave that was also kind of revealing, but it kind of went over well, so that's fine. Um, the lovely guy showed up with a very lovely rose for me, even though I was like, please don't get me flowers. I don't really like corporate holidays. Uh, he said that he found middle ground with one flower instead of a bouquet and a card. So I thought that was really sweet. Uh, very, very thoughtful guy. He seems to have a pattern with him of thoughtful behavior, thoughtful actions. He even told me today that it's like part of his personality. So yeah, so things went over really well. And, uh, you know, we, he, we, we stumbled a little bit at the beginning of the date, just some issues with, with being on time. Um, but it, it really, we worked it out and, it, and it, it's fine. So we went had a lovely dinner um, and we like cooked our own food at the table at this restaurant. Like he cooked all the meat for me, um, things like that. And like, it was just, it was a really fun date. Then we came back to my place and um, I did um, keep it PG rated again. Um, you know, some people may not understand and that's okay. But for me, and I did have a conversation with him tonight. Um, I can't necessarily explain why I'm not quite ready for sex, even though I know I will be ready for with him eventually because I am attracted to him and all of that. I'm just not ready yet. So I'm, this guy could be a real boyfriend and I don't want to quickly have sex before there's much established in at the other areas. Like I want those other areas established first and then the sex, because I think the sex is just going to be amazing. So we're just going to add that after, uh, we get to know each other and, uh, get to, uh, you know, see, see each other's character as they, as some wise people like to say, 
you know, let people learn each other. So we did hang out. We, we talked and we had a good night and he, you know, gave me some good weed again and things like that. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to hang out again. We've already made plans for a few more days from now. I did have to let him know that I am getting very busy in my business and the clubs are opening again and I've got some, you know, I did let him know that like my life is very busy. So, uh, he wants to hang out with me like a lot more than I'm ready to hang out with him. And so it's kind of an interesting balance that I'm working through, but I am learning the importance of balance and making, you know, making space for people and, and things like that. So anyways, we're going to hang out again in a few days and, uh, only time will tell how long it takes before I see that dick. But I mean, I've seen pictures, but like, I'm just not there. I don't know. It's like the shy girl inside of me is like, it's just, it just, I want it to be special and I want it to be meaningful. So we're going to, we're going to wait. So anyways, thanks for coming along on my Valentine's Day date. Uh, actually my February 14th date. Um, yeah, until next time.